One of the biggest differences is, uh, to tell you how different it was back when I started with Fritz, is every night you wrestled, they had a one of those big coolers for fishing, you know, one of those $200 jobs. They would have that full of beer and set it in the dressing room. Of course, you couldn't drink it before you wrestled. But everybody who finished wrestling, there was uh, beer there for you. You know, I mean, it was just amazing. And and Fritz was a sweet guy. He uh, was nothing like his gimmick. Uh, Just like the Von Erics were nothing like their gimmick. They're they're just sweet, kind, um, uh, vulnerable kids, you know, that just never really grew up. Um, and, and a lot, you know, when I first was invited in the Brit's office and um, they were going to give me, or told me what my job was, um, Fritz sat behind this big desk in a big office at the Sportatorium. And when I came in there, I, Kerry Von Erick was actually sitting in his dad's lap. And that's just how close they were. He actually had the meeting. Of course, he stood up after a couple of minutes. But he actually sat in the dude's lap, and that's how close they were. Um, and, of course, Kerry never said a word because Fritz said everything. And what Fritz said, you know, that's what went. And it worked. Um, he he was a smart dude. There was so much tragedy, like, going on, and obviously – at this point, Kerry will, or a little bit later, I mean, Kerry ends up leaving, so it's just kind of Kevin there toward the, the latter part when USWA and Jared Lawler become involved. So it just seems like one thing after another. Then he loses his own boys. I mean, then you can't function, right? I mean, you lose your own kids, to not only tragedy and death and suicide and stuff, but then eventually lose them to the WBF. Well, um, pretty much um, I was there with – when David, I, I'd been there a while. Actually, when David died in Japan, right? Um, that was pretty much Fritz's downfall. That they put a lot of bread and butter into David, and David was a you know Kerry, of course, grabbed the reins after David passed, but Kerry couldn't hold a candle. Uh, to um, David Von Erich uh, as far as ability and uh, he just had looks is all he had and, um, but David was a superstar um, they were actually um, they were Fritz was in the NWA and always was and they were actually going to put the title when he got back from Japan, they were going to put it on David and um, ended up putting it on Kerry in the um, Cotton Bowl. Uh, Rick Flair did, but um, David was the grand marshal and the one that was carrying the whole torch. Yeah, they always say, like, David is the best wrestler of the brothers. Kevin's the high flyer. Carries the looks. You know, like, it, it seemed like they all got a, a different piece, but everyone always says that David was definitely the best worker. Absolutely. Kevin was horrible. Um, <laughs> a great guy, but he was just, it, wow. it, you know, yes, I, I want to, you know, wrestling, we all know what it is, but it was different then. And especially when they own the company and it's their television and they're paying you, you better have your strap tightened up, buddy, because they they wasn't playing, especially Kevin. Um, 
you know, Kevin would kick you with those bare feet and think because he was barefooted that it didn't hurt, you know, but she's, he was a, a nut. And um, Kevin, uh, of course, lives in Hawaii now, and I, I haven't talked to him real lately, but Last time I talked to him, I was having some problems, and, you know, he he's the type of guy who said, man, just come stay with me in Hawaii. I've got horses. I've got everything you want. Just please come stay. Uh, and that's just the kind of people all the Von Eggs were. I knew Chris. Chris was a sweetheart, and Mike was a sweetheart and you know of course they didn't have the size of the looks and um uh, didn't really have the ability their brother big brothers had but uh yeah it was a uh, uh, Fritz pretty much was when David died it, it, that's the day it all changed uh, everything changed. It's like Fitz wasn't involved anymore after that. And, you know, if it's not but a five people a night, uh, you see less people. After a couple of years, five people a night not coming, it adds up, you know. And the crowds were a little smaller. They were still nice. We made a comfortable living. Uh, 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 uh of course, Rod wouldn't agree, but um, <laughs> he always had to take somebody out. I didn't have to pay for my date. <laughs> Rod had to pay for his. <laughs> yeah, but say, it was worth it, Johnny. Yeah, it was. As pretty <laughs> as those dang women were, buddy. And you ought to see the pretty one he's got now. Woo. She's beautiful. Rod's been real fortunate. As long as I've known him to have the most beautiful women on the planet. 